Sure, it's good to be here. So tell me about yourself. What is it that you exactly do? I am a high school uh, math teacher and I teach Algebra 2. I'm excited next year to be teaching a new course that's called AFM. So I have to do a little bit of prep since I haven't really taught uh, trigonometry in a while, but kind of excited about it. That's very cool. So what moment or event inspired you to get into STEM in the first place? So uh, STEM, because I realized back in college, a lot of my peers would come to me and seek uh, help. And they would always tell me, oh my God, you explain it so well. And I realized maybe I just have a knack of explaining stuff. And then also when it came to numbers, I was never really, uh, you know, scared of numbers. I just had this innate uh, number sense. And I was like, okay, why not uh, think about teaching math? And when I went into this field, my goal was to teach it in a way that is a little bit more fun and make it easy for the students. So that's what made me really go into teaching. So besides teaching math, what do you do outside of your job? Outside of my job? So my son, um, you know, is in college. So before that, I think all I did was just my teaching and chauffeuring him here and there. And then once he went to college, I've been uh, sort of exploring and trying to find my own identity. And I realized I totally love uh, hiking and biking. Just uh, last weekend, my husband and I went for biking and we did an 18 mile loop. And I was so impressed with me. Uh, there were a lot of people who were passing me by, but I told myself, hey, I just want to reach the end, you know? And that's what happened. I thoroughly enjoyed myself doing that. That's amazing. I do read a lot of books also, nothing to do with academics, fictional books. You tell me and I will read it. I just finished reading, uh, I had seen the movie, so I wanted to read the book, A Girl on Train. So finished that, looking forward to watching the HBO series, Big Beautiful Lies. That's great. What do you think has been your biggest challenge thus far in your field? I think in my field, the challenge for me really has been uh, motivating the kids to do well, for them to understand that they can do it with hard work. There is no such thing as they cannot do math. Everybody can do math. All you need to do is put in the hard work. There's no such thing that you are left brain or right brain. Some people can do math, some cannot. We can all do math. But yes, we do have to put in the effort. And on the flip side, what has been your biggest accomplishment thus far? I feel the way I teach and just the way my personality is, kids feel reassured and they are not like scared to approach me if they have difficulties. And then just uh, recently I read a book by Joe Bowler. She is a very famous uh, Stanford uh, graduate who writes about math and I'm totally a big fan of hers. And uh, in one of her uh, teachings, she talks about making mistakes is beautiful. So this year I kind of incorporated a little bit of Joe Bowler in my teaching. And uh, the first day I started uh, by saying, hey, it's good to make mistakes. The minute you make a mistake, your brain is growing. So I felt that was sort of a reassurance for my students. That's really cool. So have you ever noticed gender disparity in your field? And if so, how have you dealt with that? Uh, gender disparity, you mean between my students or my co-workers? Co-workers. Co-workers. Oh, that's interesting. So I suppose in the STEM field, it's usually the male uh, who are more, you know, you'll find them more. But when it comes to teaching in high school, I feel the gender disparity is the opposite. We, are, we have a lot of uh, female teachers versus male teachers. And I feel it would be so good if male counterparts came into mm -hmm. the game because sometimes uh, students need a, more, a male role, uh, role model. But uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's really, so teaching in high school, I'm sure college is different, is that we would love to have more uh, male teachers. That's very interesting. So in the end, what advice would you give to younger girls out there who are trying to get into the STEM field and are trying to become teachers? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, you know, uh, the advice that I can give you guys is follow your passion. You know, you can do it. Like I was telling you before, there is no such thing that some people can do math and some cannot. We can all do math. Just have to work hard. Uh, go for it. You can do what you set your mind to and be really good at it. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.